stage. Um, I'm really excited and I want to introduce you all to the panelists. Um, first we have Toya Minzi, Social Media Manager at Ebony Magazine. Uh, Ty Alexander, from beauty, a beauty and lifestyle editor at HelloBeautiful.com, as well as editor-in-chief of Gorgeous and Fly in Gray.com. <laughs> Uh, next, we have the lovely Keila Walker. She is the entertainment and fashion contributor and Emmy-nominated television host. <laughs> <laughs> and next up, we have Rachel Hislop, Global Grind Beauty and Style Editor. <laughs> we, all love, we all love Global Grind. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, we have Melissa Kavanaugh, if I can correctly, um, who also Natalie Cupid. Um, the owners of Dubai Laser Beauty Spa and Glow Tanning, which is this beautiful facility that we are here at today. So thank you all. I think you guys know me already, so I'm not being right? <laughs> Okay, first off, we're going to get into some discussion topics, um, fashion week recap, but I want to let Cherry Martinez, who's here in the building, jump in and do her thing. Come in, Cherry Martinez from Power 1051. Hi, everyone. So I'm here on behalf of um, DFI, Melissa. Melissa. So Melissa, why don't you just take the stage and you just kind of throw it to me. All right, I just want to tell you a little bit about the space. We're just um, DFI Laser and Beauty Lounge. We do everything here. It's an all-in-one um, space. We do everything from facials, organic facials, to uh, chemical peels, to we have a brow bar, we have a makeup bar. Counter. We also have hair, yeah. but we specialize in laser hair removal. Cherry's been getting treatments for a while now. I just wanted her to speak a little bit because it is good. You know, it's a misconception. Not all skin tones can be treated. That is a misconception. She's been getting treated. I, you can say how fast. Yes. I want to know about that. Oh yeah, it's goodness. amazing. It'll change your life. Okay. It absolutely has changed my life. I mean, from under the arms to, you know, the treasure trail, your Brazilian, um, you know, little area right there. Um, just anywhere, wherever you have it. I had a couple of little whiskers that had to go away too. Mm -hmm. So, um, How I'm, many treatments does it take before? It's, it's like six, six treatments, treatments and I'm, gonna, I'm about at five. Okay. And the crazy thing is, is that seven years ago I got laser done by someone else and they used the gel and the gel, that's like old school. You know what I mean? So these laser machines are like the best ever. I can just, I can tell it just, you, you, you already know, I already know it's working. And 95% of this hair is gonna be like permanently gone. 95 to like 98, right? What is it? Exactly, it's after six treatments. You're gonna, you're gonna see a difference after your first treatment. Now laser treatments less painful than getting rid of a rack. Honestly, <laughs> it, hurt, it, it probably hurts the same. You can, oh, there's also a numbing cream. You can do the numbing cream if you want. Take an eye view of eye view. Yes, one of those. <laughs> that will help you out. But I'm telling you, like when I just put on my underwear, I'm, I'm just so happy. <laughs> Nothing is crawling. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sherry. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ladies, we're all into fashion and beauty. That's why we're all here. And I want to kind of talk a little bit about Fashion Week that just passed. I totally missed it. So I got I need you guys to bring me back in. It's some, some of your favorite moments of Fashion Week, best looks. You attended all the shows and tell me what you guys thought about this. I mean, I'll just say obviously Fashion Week is this really glamorous, amazing time of the year. But my favorite part of Fashion Week, despite all the shows and runways is the street style like the street style to me is the best style and I was I actually did a segment on it and I was saying how the step to the plaza at Lincoln Center and just that plaza area in itself that's like the new catwalk for the everyday girl and that's when you're seeing the real style where they're taking these fashion pieces that we're seeing on the runway mm -hmm. and just turning it out in ways that I'm like Ooh. I never thought <laughs> to wear that that way like I like best the street style during your fashion week because that's when you the editors, everyone is stepping out and showing out. Another thing that I know everyone's going to say, like, you need to stop about is that I wish fashion could be in the summertime. I know it can't because of the way the seasons are. No one ever says it because it's so, like, oh, but I wish it could be in the summertime. I really do. Well, that type of snow was not a joke. Yeah. So I'm not even going to lie. I was like, snow. Not heels, not heels. Exactly. But September is like, you know, you can still it's a lot better. layer yeah. cutely, but you're not sweating and dying and sweating your roots out. Right. <laughs> it's a good medium. Definitely. Okay, so what are some of the, would you guys say, some of the summer must-haves? Colors, style, trends, hair products, 
to keep us going, glowing as women of color? You know, like what are some of the things that you absolutely have to use and what you say? And if you guys have any questions or, you know, chime in about some of your favorite blog sites. Mm -hmm. For me this summer, um, it's more about laces and shears. Like you want to play a lot with fabrics. Um, bright colors are obviously in, but a lot of the laces and the shears is going to be your material, your fabric to go to over this summer. Okay. And also, I think um, jumpers are great silhouettes for the summer, as well as crop tops. Um, can't go wrong with prints and patterns. What about for women that are are so slim? Crop you know, tops are crop also tops acceptable. Are nice. what? I, they're also acceptable. <laughs> 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 Dawn, because you're in this world. She does uh, nails to all the big stars and Ebony and, and all the L magazine. So, what are some of the myths versus myths versus tips in which area? And, and, and even nails. What would you say? Maybe the the funky so nail a bit, art. And for me, some women feel they have to have a specific complexion for a specific color. That's an absolute myth because any color goes with any complexion. It just depends on your attitude, your personal style, how you're feeling, what vibe you're in. And that's how you can gauge on what you decide to wear. So we can all wear anything. So that's a big myth in, for me. Okay. Myth, obviously, is that spray tans are only for um, fair skinned or, you know, light yeah, skinned. Yeah, and that's absolutely wrong. That is a big mess in colorizing it. It doesn't necessarily have to be tan. It can be a gorgeous, Glow. Like it can be a healthy look, it can cover stretch marks, anything that you're trying to even so out. It covers Take stretch it. marks? It does cover stretch marks. See, that marks. should be in the yeah. caption yeah. line. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about what, what things are going to be in for spring and summer. Uh-huh. Can we talk about shoes? Yes! Yeah, comfortable cool. shoes. Her <laughs> 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 shoes are bomb. Let me see. Pick them up. Yeah. Oh! Having true style also means mastering your own closet. Yeah. So being able to mix and match your whatever's in your closet, where it's like she said, year in, year out, and then add pieces that complement those pieces that you have in your closet. Okay, so I want to thank you ladies so much for being here. I definitely appreciate you guys coming out to support. I want you guys to take advantage of the services. Come back and patronize this beautiful facility. Um, Sage Skincare is available at sageskincare.com. It's an amazing, amazing skincare line that I am I'm really excited about with Dr. Stephen T. Greenberg. Um, and there'll be a lot more to come. So mix and mingle and network and enjoy yourselves. So thank you so much.